the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. Uh, welcome to the show, Mike McRae. Hey, Mikey. I'll be darned. Mike, you look great. Mike, you look you look 12 years younger. Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> I've, I've had some work done. <laughs> yeah. Barber work. Yeah, a razor. Yeah. And I... Uh, <laughs> Or did you get a job? I, uh, well, how are you, gentlemen? Uh, I uh, this is a sad occasion. <laughs> I'm not I, dead. I, Fuck I, you. I cannot <laughs> believe, after all these years, the Whiskey Brothers has finally decided to put Rob down. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean a roast. I mean euthanasia. <laughs> <laughs> There's no youth in that Asia. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's old and yet old. Wait, and was yet. I not was I not supposed to say anything? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You keep talking, Rob. We need to go out back real quick. Yeah. Is, <laughs> you buried the lead before we could bury the Rob. <laughs> I, I was told I, I was told I was going to a farm with some other dogs. Yeah, it's weird. The last podcast was a live one from behind a barn. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Mike? What? Pardon? Uh, I thought you were speaking. Oh no 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 no! This is why we have rehearsal. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> Mike said, "Pardon you, extremely white." That was great. That was great. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> Trey gets a little thrown off when you use vernacular like "pardon." It gets off. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, so. he, he, but meanwhile, his cousins are all waiting on one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you predate you predate me and the Whiskey Brothers, and I know this because I booked the Whiskey Brothers for a Christmas show uh, or a New Year's Eve show at my club in 2003. At least three or four years before I joined the oh. Whiskey Brothers. Um, it was my first one. It was your first uh, show out, out of Whiskey all of them. What do, what do I not know about the Whiskey Brothers <laughs> back in those days? Was there a fun Rob? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness, yeah. You know, well, well, I was in the tuxedo version of the Whiskey Brothers, the yeah. Rat Pack thing yeah. that we were doing for yeah. a while. And there was, a, there was an ab abortive first attempt at that uh, at the last stop. Where it was, it was it was the it was the lineup that you know, you, uh, Rob Bischoff, Ben, me, Chuck Savage, and then Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think before Sam joined that, we tried one that included Wesley, yeah. Hersey, yeah. and Riley Barber. Oh wow! Yeah. Odo yeah. says he did a tuxedo show. Did he? Do yeah, he did the one. I, I think he filled in, but this one was the first attempt at that. And it was one of the biggest disasters that Riley I've ever Barber. been a part of. On yeah, stage. that's what it was. Riley Barber. It was Riley yeah. Barber. Is that what went sideways? Oh, it was Riley Barber, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> when I came in, I was like, man, this is so cool. Thanks for asking me to be here. And they're like, your name's not Riley Barber, kid. You're in. You're fine. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> Play Drink of Water. Who's Riley Barber? <laughs> I didn't, no, dude, I, didn't, I had never even met him. But, like, my first show with these guys, they were just like, look, just know when to shut the fuck up. What happened? Yeah. What's the? Tell me what. Because yeah, Mike, this is why I ask. Uh, at having having been part of and leading the bit of the Whiskey Brothers for the better part of a long eleven years, I'm trying to figure out what could possibly happen that would make the collective group go. This is too far. <laughs> well, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, so the idea was we, you know, we go up do our act and and zing each other a little bit like the Rat Pack did. Everybody on stage uh, at one time was this the yeah, yep. and it wasn't planned out. And there were certain people within that group who couldn't fucking handle it. Riley Barber, <laughs> Riley Barber. <laughs> oh shit! And then all all these people started getting mad at each other, and fucking Riley's like, "I'm fucking Riley Barber. Who are these fucking kids zinging me or whatever?" <laughs> Eventually, he yeah. walked off the stage and the off. crowd cheered. <laughs> oh, wow. He walked off in protest. The crowd cheered. The show was already destroyed. Yeah. I mean, there was no coming back from it at this point. But oh. then afterward, like, he and Ben got in a physical fight where, like, Ben was up on his shoulders like a spider monkey. <laughs> yeah. You remember that, Rob? I do remember that, yeah. yeah it didn't dude. help that we were... Hersey wasn't exactly helping anything He's on never, stage or off. Never been. To say. Yeah, he yeah. was a he was a ruthless drunk at the time. Yeah, the whole point. Wesley, of it, Wesley yeah. got pissed at someone. That, probably yeah. the waiter for slowness. It, yeah. it was Slade already. <laughs> he, was, he was already pissed off at Slade. Yeah. I hadn't even met him. <laughs> he just like, fuck that guy. Well, the whole premise is you would do your act on stage, like we're all on stage together, and one guy goes to the front, does his act, and then we kind of zing. So you why know, did we never do this? Because I lost a fortune on tuxedos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I swear, every one of those shows cost me $600. 
It cost me six hundred dollars to buy tuxes for all these fucking ads, except for Sam who had his own suit. Oh, white fuzzy suit. I, I could yeah. never. Oh, put that's it right. Sam had his white suit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had the white pimp suit. And uh, God, the, the shows were fun. Uh, and, and here's the thing: the the reiterated version, it, it was fun too. But it was like we had a bartender on stage. Craig was in the back. Yeah. We got we got bottles from the club. So wait, was Craig not doing comedy? Y'all just made him pour drinks? Yeah, he was just a bartender. No, 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 no. He, he, he went out No, he, he hosted. Out first. He, he did time. He yeah. went out first, and then it was like... Hi, hey, I don't deserve to be here. Well, why would y'all no. make him bartend? No, it's hilarious. It, it, it was because it was part of the show. It okay. was it was We were supposed to be up there looking like we're just dudes hanging out drinking at a bar, but a really nice bar. Okay. We were all... They were, they were in tuxes. I was in the white fuzzy suit. Craig just had on a nice shirt with a tie with the sleeves rolled up like he and would like, bar- like, like a speakeasy. So you put yeah, it's a stand yeah. plate. I got you. So when we started the show, we all came out, we did the toast like we do now, and then we were Except like, y'all ladies probably and gentlemen, wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I uh, we were like, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our bartender, uh, Craig Bischoff, and he would go on and do his set and he would say thank you and we we're like, Now get back there and make us some fucking drinks. <laughs> and yeah. oh, we treated him like shit. Okay, that's uh, and during the show, like we, we treated him like shit. Play. Chuck was in the back of the piano. Um, Mike, when you did the Indiana, Indiana Jones joke. He would start playing it, and then when he's like, you know, dun, every dun, dun, I told you, man, every year, and then all of us together were just da 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 da. da. Yeah, we had uh, we had some uh, bits yeah. in there that like, and Riley was horrible at it. Just I, fucking yeah. horrible. <laughs> well, he only did that one. Just the one, yeah. And yeah, just that, and they're like, so all right, Riley, we're is Riley the summer. only one who's been an outlaw and a whiskey brother? Is that like the? Uh, is that the only sort of? Yeah, I, I, is I that guess. like the feather he gets to put in his cap? Maybe, yeah. You know, I lost money on his because he's 6'5", and I had to get a special tux for him because he's so fucking big. Special tux. Why are you just going to regular a tux and some kiss And moves? he pissed in it, too. <laughs> he was so uh, fucked up, he pissed his pants, and I had to what? pay. Ex- yeah. I had to tell you about that. I tell you no. About yeah, he fucking pissed his pants, and he goes, he, he brings the pants back. Oh, I'm sorry. I kind of I kind of wet myself. So I, <laughs> I was like. Oh, that's an extra fifty bucks. All right, fine. <laughs> He's losing money, Mike. Yeah. While, while while I have you the on other, here, oh, go ahead. Go well, ahead. The, the other fun one I remember, we did one at the Dallas Improv, and we drove back in two cars, and we got pulled over. Yeah, yeah. And fucking the one we were in. Who was I, driving? I think Damaris was. Dr- oh, that explains the pulling over. But no, well, no, you I were in it. I got pulled but over. We were, it was. I think it was. Well, Craig was definitely in it. And but ben, I think I think Mobray was driving that Ford Explorer. But you guys are rolling, right. you're rolling back down 45 from Addison. It's a shitty drive. Yeah, and then so we get pulled over, and they're like, "You all smell like booze," <laughs> and we're like, "Yeah, but it's, I swear it's from the night before. We're alcoholics. <laughs> and we aren't drinking. <laughs> we aren't drinking right now. I swear to God, what you're smelling is." I had drinks since my job today. This <laughs> is- and 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 Craig was freaking the fuck out because he had weed on him. It and he weed in the fucking car, and the guy said, "I need to search the car." I did. I had no idea, but it was just in the fucking webbing, the web pocket in the back seat. It but was in the most hidden. obvious fucking place. In a container labeled know weed. Yeah. And fucking the cops searched the car, so Craig is uh, unbeknownst to me is fucking like uh, there's another white word there for you, Trey. <laughs> unbeknownst to me, <laughs> was fucking pardon is unbeknownst. Yeah, pardon is unbeknownst. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and fucking the cop for some reason just didn't check this obvious place for something to be, which was the pocket in the bed. No, yeah, he's busy was... dismantling the steering wheel and pulling out the radio, looking for all the places you should hide it, and he's overlooking yeah. the door panel where you wouldn't set it. What happened was he asked us if we had any booze in the car or whatever, and we had, like, these two little travel, like, six-ounce beers that were in the back. So he went in the back, and he was right. going through our luggage first. And then he was like, I thought you said there was no booze in the car. And I was like, officer, those things are, like, six ounces. Uh, we took a flight, and they're just – but they're in the bag. They're all the way in the back. And he was like, that's all I'm looking for, right? And we're like, yes, yeah, sir. And he goes, all right, man, I'm going to let you all go with a warning. And then uh, he let us go, and Craig goes – uh. Man, why was that cop being such a dick? And Ben was like, why do you have weed in my fucking car? He was like, he was being a fucking prince, What, a, what a pussy. How do you take a road trip without weed? <laughs> anyway, listen. the uh, <laughs> You did it for 19 years. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but if you had been in the car with me, I wouldn't have thrown a hissy fit like a bitch. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, didn't, I never had weed either, but we, they would have thought we did. I'm simply saying you don't get it. Anyway. Yeah. Um, the, I had a question for Mike a second ago. Um, God damn it, and I lost my entire train of thought. Unbeknownst to you, you forgot. No, 
<laughs> no, 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 no. So Mike, memory, Mike. We did, we did, we did a Whiskey Brothers show, and uh, I'll bring this up, and we're we're gonna move move on. But the okay. we did a Whiskey Brothers show with you in uh, at Cap City. In, uh, for punch, right? It was me and you and Sam and John. No, I wasn't there. This is the you weren't there. John Wesley banana and Rob were. Yeah. And you took us to a little dive bar where we proceeded to steal an eight foot tall Jamaican banana. Did we not? I remember that. Yeah. Were you hammered? Mike, I didn't make this up. We took the fucking banana that. to your house. Look at me. That. No, oh my God, how drunk were you? Oh, God. Well, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Jamaican banana. Mike. We did a whiskey. I remember I was briefly booking a, a punch replacement that's show. That's what it was. Yes. City. That's what it was. Yes. Yeah. And then Huggins and a few a few other you guys me? came in. It wasn't a whiskey brother show. I just booked some Houston. Yeah. I was well, like, was, I'm going to do Houston night. It was me, Rob, Johnny, and Huggins. So I count that as a whiskey brother show. <laughs> okay. Right, right, right. And, okay. But do you not remember that? You, you, the I fact remember that the, the, you remember the, the fact Jamaica that your banana. face looks questionable at an eight-foot-tall Jamaican banana. Like this isn't ringing a bell at all. Concerned. You didn't they, bring that to where I live, that's for sure. Mike, I took it to your house, <laughs> that, and, and we did it in your car. I remember this. Uh, this is a fucking story in my book. I'm not making this up. <laughs> you, <laughs> I was out of town. I, 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 I was remember. in Seattle. I came home, and y'all you had pictures of the Look guy at his face. Like, he doesn't have any idea. No. Mike, nah, we, oh, your house, you Ooh. have a... You have a I, Somewhere I, in your I, home. I, I, no, we, we took it back the next day because we didn't. We realized we were going to have to strap it to the hood of a car and drive it down 45... <laughs> Or down 290 to get back to Houston. So we took it back to the bar the next morning. Yeah. It was their mascot. You had a room. We were playing. I was playing. You had a video game. In, uh, you had a media room at some. Mike, I'm not. You're, no, I was married. I don't have a media room. There's no video games. You are remembering this absolutely incorrectly. This did not happen. It a, did happen. I don't know that he took it to your place. But I know this. You were there. Because that night, we were all getting hammered. Where did we go? Uh, hold on. We. We. Mike turned to me and he goes, this is after you were married and you just had your kid, I think. And you turned yeah. to me and you go, wow, you know, it's, it's really great to be drinking on a Tuesday for no fucking reason again. It was this all the time. Mike, there was a whole caper. There was your car. We had to get your keys to Johnny right and he had to go unlock the car. And I took a bunch of hipsters in to get them shots of shitty whiskey and make them throw up so we could steal no. the banana. I know where you took it. I know where. Where? You didn't take it to his place. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, fuck. Who is that guy? Okay, but I stole a banana. You did steal it. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm not arguing with you stealing a banana. I'm just saying I... that banana did not come to my house. Yeah. Okay, it went back to a house and you were there. Uh, Christ. It wasn't. It was somebody else. Damn. It wasn't his house. Totally fair. Yeah, I don't want no okay. cool running motherfuckers in your house. Totally fair. The, the Jamaican so... banana did not come to my house. So let's uh let's let's let's, let's okay see. long pointless story sorry I brought it up no but Mike was having that 911 who homie the 911 oh homie. I was Chris Redder yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was I was dude, bro you had you had me Brian Williams and yeah, I was Brian on that Williams. helicopter yeah. I Mike. was on the helicopter we were shot at right I mean it sounds vaguely <laughs> familiar <laughs> now like you guys stealing a banana I'm not sure how involved I was the with it the goddamn banana was there Mike and you were there too <laughs> and don't act like we weren't there together motherfucker I still have the goddamn Scars. <laughs> Mike, oh, dun, 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 were you dun, 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 dun. were you in the car with us when we did the show in New Orleans? Oh shit! Oh, I don't know. I don't think I went to New Orleans. So with you guys. Mike's now we did, one, with we did the one in New Orleans. Rob was dating this chick, and it's all these comics in the car. Rob decides to bring his girl, and. On the way there, we're all listening. You know, we're ACDC in it. We're Led Zeppelin in it, whatever. And she's like, guys, I really want to hear some Kate Bush. And this no. pussy no. whip motherfucker, this pussy whip motherfucker let there. her play Kate Bush and PJ Harvey all the way in New Orleans in a car full of comics. And we're like, what the fuck? Oh, then, no. Then we were going to stop at Cajun Charlie's, that that that, that buffet mm -hmm. in Lafayette. No, like, pre -jains. No no no, 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 no. Lake Charles, Lake, Lake Charles. Charles. Lake Charles. Cajun Charlie's is just... The amazing. only Cajun buffet on the planet. Yes, and it is great. And oh, Rob, has been, that. Rob right. has been talking about it and hyping it up or whatever. Problem is, Cajun Charlie's is across the street from a cemetery. And she says, I can't eat here because there's dead people right there. And <laughs> Rob yeah. has been telling, I'm 23. He's been telling me about this since I was 21. And I couldn't fucking eat there because this 
bitch wouldn't eat across the street from a fucking cemetery. Yeah. And then after she made me leave the Cajun buffet, she got right back in the car and put on fucking Kate Bush. <laughs> and I was like, if you don't dump this woman, I'm going to. In a ditch. <laughs> Where? Which girlfriend was this? Kristen. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I tried not to say names, but fuck it. Chris Thomas Odo says, the broad who could smell colors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike, uh, oh hey. my God, dude. Mike, we're about, we, we, uh, we got a couple other guests we got to get to. Any, uh, any parting thoughts for Rob or any good stories you want to share before you get out the door? Ah, fucking shit. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I've never met Mike McCray. Well, I've, I've known Rob for, <laughs> 20, for 22, almost 22 years shit. now. Yeah. And uh, I remember when, when I met him, it was 22 years ago, he looks exactly like he does now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had no beard. And, yeah. Well, that's true, except for the beard. Uh -huh. And I remember one time he said to me, he's like, when I was 24 or something, he goes, get all the pussy you can now, because in three years, you're going to look just like me. <laughs> That's why Mike shaved that fucking beard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was, I, I've been trying to avoid that curse mm -hmm. ever Not since. Passing. And now, it, what happened is he now looks like Riley Barber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're just beating your tux. Yeah. Mike. I'm six foot five now. Yeah. <laughs> Mike McCray, Mike on Twitter, uh, Whiskey Brother alumnus. You'll always be part of this family. Uh, you'll be back even when Rob isn't, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we love seeing you. We'll probably see you at the Christmas show. Maybe we'll come see you for uh, something in Austin. Cheers. But uh, cheers. We love it. It's good to be cheers, here. Cheers, gentlemen. Uh, Always a pleasure, guys. Thanks for having me. Take care, Rob. Mike. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast.